Welcome back, everyone. To Coffee Conversations. With James, James and, and Amy. Amy. We need to work on that. Yeah, we do. My mug is from the Philippines. Manila, Pearl of the Orient. I wonder where you got that from. LAX. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. All right. Yeah. I need to go up there and get one myself. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. So today we are going to talk about a new topic. Last time we told a story. Mm -hmm. And today James again is picking the topic. Yeah. So uh, last week um, where I work, somebody was leaving and going away. And the guy that's leaving, uh, he really is a kind of a not kind of, but he's a man of honor in in our view. I'm not going to go into details about that, but before he left, I I thought, you know, I really want to, I really want to bless him when he leaves, mm -hmm. and you know, mm -hmm. um, how do you do that? How do you go about doing that? So what I thought was, you know, I could say blessings, you know, like the typical Western church mantra. Uh, blessings. Um, I know. I'm being that was kind of, kind of mocking. I know. It's just. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not meaning to mock. But you wanted something deeper. I wanted something deeper. I wanted something more substantial. It's almost like if you say "I love you" so much without backing it, it's empty. Yeah, I love you. Right. Yeah. Well, you back it. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> Anyways, so I said, you know, I said, uh, and I love you too. Thanks. Well, that was a close one. You could have said thank you. <laughs> thank you? <laughs> I said, uh, may, and I told him this, I, and it was, in, <laughs> this is the weird part, it was in front of people. And I'm not going to mention names or anything like that. But I said, may, may wisdom go before you and may honor follow you wherever you go in your future. And it was like, wow, people probably, I don't think people ever heard anything like that spoken to anybody. And it really dawned on me how we as Christians can bless other people in, by our words. You know, I always mm -hmm. think that, you know, mm -hmm. we're really, Jason's always saying, tell people about Jesus, tell people about Jesus, mm -hmm. tell people about Jesus. And, and rightfully so, and that's true. And I'm not, I'm not belittling that at all, but part of our mission as Christians uh, is not just to speak the gospel, but to live the gospel. And it's, I think it's a third. Speaking is a third of the gospel. And then the other third is, is works. And another third is um, probably the fruits of the spirit. If we portray the fruits of the spirit, I would think. Anyways, so that's our conversation tonight. Blessings. What does it mean to bless? Hmm. And we only have 10 minutes. It's not going to be long. Uh, what does it mean to curse? Can Christians curse? Hmm. And does that carry any weight? And does that mean swear words? I don't think so. I don't hmm. think cursing means swear words. I don't know. Um, so what does it mean to bless, hon? What do you think? Well, I think of um, when the when the Bible talks about building each other up mm -hmm. in Christ mm -hmm. and uh, speaking to each, edifying the body mm -hmm. that um, that's part of it, you know, because nobody likes to be um, taken down, cut down. Mm -hmm. In fact, just today I was talking with a couple other ladies, not today, just the other day. And we were talking about um, how you can do a hundred great things in one day and do one wrong thing, and all of those hundred things are canceled out. You only focus on the one wrong thing. And I feel like our speech and speaking blessings and speaking with respect and honor um, is a part of edifying the body mm. and not cursing the body. Well, what does it mean? What does the word blessing or bless to bless in the Bible mean? Have you looked it up? Well, I mean, there's lots of places where, you know, fathers bless their sons yeah so what right? does that mean it's almost like they're passing on something to them well, i happen to look it up well what does it mean james that was a test Smith? that was a test 
<laughs> Failed. No, I'm just kidding, sweetie. I know yeah. what it means. What does it mean? Um, Webster Dictionary. No, I'm just that kidding. That doesn't count. You go. And Todd would verify that, Mr. Greek and Hebrew. He would say, no, you're wrong, Amy. Uh, there's many forms of the words bless, blessing, uh, blessings. And to bless uh, carries a connotation of to praise, to adore, to uh, make great. Uh, even, even mm. which what I found was interesting, uh, blessings can have the connotation or the meaning of to cause to have peace, mm. which is mind blowing if you think about it, because you, you hear Jesus say, blessed are the peacemakers. So blessed are the, those who cause blessing which is pretty interesting. Uh, so that's just not an option for us Christians to bless people. I think, you know, watching people's r response to what I said to this man um, really signifies how much the world is flying upside down, like Dallas Willard mm -hmm. would say, mm -hmm. and that we as Christians need to bring it up right side up. Mm -hmm. Because sooner or later, if you're flying upside down and you think you're going up, 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 you're just going down, down, down. And, and you're so, going to hit the ground. And you're going to hit the ground. Yeah. Which isn't so want. it's interesting to note that like the word blessing or blessed, blessed. Oh, I didn't even look at blessed. Blessing is found in over 170 verses and over three some form 300 times mm -hmm. in all the Bible. So mm -hmm. it carries a lot of weight. And re remember Esau was really ticked off for his birthright, which was mm -hmm. essentially a blessing. Mm -hmm. So what's the big deal? And it doesn't seem like we do it too much in America. Mm -hmm. We you probably know? probably curse more than anything. Oh, we probably do. <laughs> yeah, boy, I tell you what. So, I mean, what would it look like if we as Christians to our neighbors, to our friends, to our co-workers gave more precise blessings on them. You mean I, got more specific instead of just saying, you know, hashtag blessings to do. do yes. <laughs> to say something specific like like um, like you may may honor go with you, you know, or yeah, or, or oftentimes I find myself praying for you at work or wherever you go. And I ask for, um, um, favor God's favor to be upon you. That's huge. Where I, I don't too. just say, you know, bless James. I'm really specific. And I think it means that it means the person's taking the time to know you and to really show that they care. And that's why it matters. Maybe. I think so. I think so. I mean, um, the whole point behind blessing is to praise it sounds weird because we're always, you know, our intent is to praise God ultimately, but there is an effort. There is a level where he, this is going to sound really almost anathema, but it sounds like he praises us. Well, he does sing over us. He sings over <laughs> us. Over Zion. Which, which is really, if you think about it, mind-blowing that God would lift us up. But then again, that's who we are in Christ. We're mm -hmm. hidden in Christ. So there is no difference mm -hmm. between us and mm -hmm. Christ. Wow. So really, wow. When, you're, when you take the time, so really, it's almost like you're saying when you take the time to really listen to what the Spirit of God is telling you over a person. Yeah. It is like you are speaking God's words over that person. Yeah. Or, and like Moses spoke you, God's word over his people, you know? You know what I mean? So you're you're speaking what? the mind and thought of God yes. to that person. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. That is literally mind-blowing if you think yes. about it. So that in itself, not the fact that my words, are my words do carry carry meaning and they carry influence and power but because they come from but god. because they come from the power of god wow yep that's crazy man yeah so if you don't say it what god has put Ooh, on your heart what are you doing you're quenching the spirit you, uh, don't want to do that so yeah wow so what would a curse be the opposite the antithesis 
I don't know. Here, here's Maybe we shouldn't go there. Maybe we're out of, running out of time. What time are we at? How, we're many, at? how long have we been? Oh, like eight minutes. Oh, we're good. We got two more minutes left. About two or three more minutes left. Maybe five. Maybe <laughs> maybe another ten. No, I'm just kidding. We know uh, we we're not keep that short. exciting. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> we Drink your keep, coffee. Three, yeah. No, you were supposed to talk. Sorry. There's an interesting dynamic when it comes to cursing, though. Uh, Jesus was very specific, and so was Paul. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. So essentially, our enemies were to bless but not curse. But then when you read in the book of Revelation, who's under the the altar? All all the saints that have been slain. And what are they saying? They're saying, um, they're asking for God's um, justice. Yeah, how long, O oh Lord? How long, O oh Lord? Must... Will you wait? Yeah, yeah. So I don't think that's a curse. I think, uh, but but then again, you read David. You read the Psalms, and what does he say? Um, he's very real. He's very real. Does he curse? I don't think he curses. I think he... But he does bring everything to God in justice. And I think that's what he's looking at. So I don't think there's a... You can equate cursing with justice or God's justice or leaving justice to God. So Yeah, I don't think it's wrong to... Yes, correct. I think it is right to ask God for justice. Yes. I think that's like Jason's have... been preaching. You know, it's it's within us yes. to seek justice and to want justice. Right. Not cursing. That would be... Yeah. The Bible, I don't think, condones Christians. I, well, I, I know it doesn't condone Christians cursing anybody, for that matter. Right. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. Interesting. What do you all think? Well. We'd love to hear your thoughts. If you, yeah, I'm still pondering. Yeah, there's he a lot says, to ponder here. He says I do this stuff to him all the time. Oh. And that obviously we are gonna get isn't there. the truth. And, because... And- Amy's dropped some theological bombs on me at 11 o'clock at night, right when I'm going to bed. That's when I feel most creative. And then she gets mad at me because I don't respond right <laughs> Not away. anymore. I did when we were in our... What do you think? Why aren't I you did, answering me? I did when we were in our infancy as a married couple. Not not anymore. Yeah, but He's worn me down. Yeah, we'd love to hear what you think about blessing, about curses. Mm-hmm. Uh, just let us know. Um, be really interesting to talk about it. And, you know, if, if you, if you guys want us to talk a little bit more about it, I guess we could, but next week, I think we're going to throw something controversial out there for you guys. Ooh. Something that Amy and I have had large and long and strong conversations about. Do you know what it is about? I know what you're going to say, and I don't know if I'm prepared. Oh, we get prepared. (laughs) And next, next week, we're going to hit the controversies. We're going to start talking about a little fidgety stuff and it's not stuff that you think you think about often just think all right kind of let it go by well um, let us know what you think yeah keep hitting um, views or likes or hates or whatever they don't have that um yeah. but you know we do want um god to work in your lives and bring peace to your paths and um yeah yeah so i was just thinking about when you were talking about blessing you know how to end this with a blessing over who might watch this i don't know who watches it i know but how would you end with a blessing over right now maybe you don't know maybe, who's gonna watch it no so i don't would you so maybe maybe give for, us an example maybe for john i would i would bless him by saying May the grass be greener at the end of your your ordeal. And he would know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Or or maybe um to James. Uh, may the fruits of your labor uh be richly rewarded. Um and you know, I don't have to say last names or anything, but how about you? you I don't know. You kind of, I mean, I'm kind of still processing the whole thing still. But um, I guess I would just, I guess I'm thinking like a blanket statement over anybody who watches this. Like, maybe all. But I know you want to be, me to be specific. Maybe all about Cornerstone, you know, how they've blessed us. Um, 
may cornerstone. Um, may cornerstone be the light of Christ in a dark world. Okay. That was good. Here's That's my good. blessing. And may the Lord love poured out on us be, how could I say, manifest, manifold upon you. Yeah. Okay, we've That's gone way long. Okay, we're done. Way long. All right. All right. Um, we love you. Thank you for attending, if you are, watching. Peace out. Coffee and do the peace sign right. No. This, time, huh? this way. This is the right way. That's the Churchill. Oh, no, Churchill went like this. No, I did. Yes, <laughs> I think so. Churchill. All right. Bye. Anyway, all right. Peace out. Bye.